what is up fam welcome back to the channel got this 2023 breakout um, I've had this thing for a few days now took my night rod in on Monday get some works done so shout out to Auckland Harley for hooking it up with this loaner bike awesome loaner bike by the way I uh, thought I'd do a quick walk around before I go drop it back off but um this is the 2023 model it's got the 117 cubic inch engine uh, it's got the big pod filter on the right here things you know looks cool cosmetically it looks pretty cool uh, it's got the stock exhaust and stock bars so I'll give you my opinion while I ride on it um, and yeah well, what are my thoughts on the 2023 breakout and yeah let's hear it let's hear it I'll turn it on it's uh, keyless, so as long as you got the fob next to you, there's no ignition or anything like that. So yeah, this is it. The stock exhaust is uh, quite underwhelming, to be honest. Compared to the likes of anything with an aftermarket exhaust. The stock Harley exhaust, in my opinion, I mean not much to brag about to be honest it is what it is but yeah I'll, I'll take it for a quick spin um, yeah off to Auckland Harley and Mount Wellington I think overall this thing looks awesome uh, the visuals from the back I'm personally not a big fan of these bars the straight bars just simply because it hunches you over some people prefer that but um not me so yeah, let's go. Let's go drop her off. Woo! It's Thursday today. Basically, I've uh, had this thing for the last few days, so I'm able to give you some feedback on what's my thoughts on the 2023 breakout. Uh, I did get a request actually from uh, one of the subscribers he actually asked if I could do a review on the 2023 breakout um, so yeah this one's for you by the way um, it's just a coincidence this is the bike they gave me when uh, I took my bike in on Monday to get some work done um, so yeah this is it pretty basically uh, I'm just taking this back to the shop I um yeah I got given this as a loaner bike while they were sorting out some stuff for my bike and um, yeah this is this is basically a reflection of my relationship with Auckland Harley I think um, the guys at Auckland Harley are great to deal with uh, personally I've had a great experience with them um, you know buying my Harleys and getting my maintenance done through them um, it's been good it's been really good actually so yeah, shout out to Auckland Harley for hooking it up with the loaner bike for a few days I uh, really appreciate you but anyway, back to the topic of the video. Uh, this is the 2023 Breakout Softail. Uh, it's got the 117 cubic inch, um, and as you can see, it's got the big pod filter. Now, like personally, with a pod filter, it looks cool. Like it actually looks cool. Uh, in terms of practicality, I'm not sure how practical it is um, with forward controls. I feel like mid controls you might have a bit less contact on it, but it's all good. It's all good. Check this out, let's try and beat that front. Don't want to risk it, just get out of here. That was the third to fourth pull, pretty quick. I've got to admit, this thing moves pretty fast. Um, definitely not lacking in the power department. And actually, I'm, I'm not even sure how much faster this is to the, to the stock 114 breakout. Uh, but yeah, this thing can boogie that's for sure but as you can hear like I don't know if you can hear but it's not that loud obviously uh, given that it's got the stock exhaust but this thing can pick up really quickly really satisfied with the movement uh, one thing I really like about this bike though I'm not gonna lie it's got this feature here, cruise control. 
Now I've seen a lot of comments about cruise control and the crack up like when people are like, oh you know, why would you want cruise control on a Harley bro? Like that's not for Harley's you know full throttle every day, red line, bam. <laughs> The reality is, uh, I'm not sure if those people understand what cruise control is, you know what I mean? Like, I, I personally love cruise control, I think it's a great feature to have on a bike, and I'm actually considering it on a night rod. I'll be keen as to have it on my night rod, because what it is, is it, it just allows you to set your speed limit and coast. So, you know, I click it in once, I can see it's active now, and if I click it down, I set it at 102 k's, bang, I can, I can just let it go. And the thing's just gonna move, you know what I mean? Like that. That's awesome, bro. Like, how convenient. Like, especially with bars like this, you can rest your back. You know, you can um, you can shake off your hand, do a little dance. <laughs> but that's what cruise control is for. To help you uh, moderate your speed. So, really good for uh, when you're out with packs, or even if you're cruising by a cop. Cops in there, and I've set it at 99 k's on the highway. Yeah, there's no dramas, right? Like, guaranteed, if he's doing 80 k's and I'm doing 99, they ain't got reason to pull me over, right? So, it's really good for speed management, you know what I mean? So, I highly recommend cruise control for any bike, just just because it's an additional feature, like, just makes sense, bro. I, I love cruise control in my cars, like, my turbo, it's the same thing, right? Same principle applies. I think it's a great feature to have. Use it if you got it, bro. Use it if you got it. I don't know what this TC means, and I, I, I'm guessing I thought it was uh, like heated grips, but maybe not. So I'm not sure what that does of all the functions. But I mean, everything else is basically the same as your typical Harley. You can, you can go through. I'm a fan of these uh, speedometers. I do like them. I like the simple simplicity of it. I think it's great. Some people think it's a con, um, mainly because. Especially um, when you're when it's really bright, I do find at times sometimes the glare might hide what the speed is. Um, but you know, I'm not too fussy about this stuff. Man. I like simple, minimalistic is nice. Uh, so overall, what's my thoughts? How would I rate this bike? I think I think this is a me bike. Like it's got a big tank. It feels like a big bike. It actually feels like a bigger bike than the Night Rod, even though they're quite similar in size. Um, I do understand this is one of the longer, actually I think this is the longest um, Harley they've released ever. I think the Breakout, yeah, the Breakout has the longest um, frame that I'm aware of anyway. Ambulance coming by me. just get out of his way <laughs> if he can catch me but it does pick up just like that eh like I'm in fifth gear and actually that's the other thing I like about it it's got six gears brother that's definitely something the V-Rod's missing it'd be nice if you could just chuck one of these trannies on there and bang you're good to go but it ain't worked like that that I'm aware of anyway so but yeah so cruise control is great basically if I was to buy me one of these there's two mods I'd have to do It'd be the bars for sure and then it'll be the exhaust as well it just needs to sound like a Harley now um, I, I'm not sure if the baffles are taken out of this but as you can notice it's really quiet uh, and I'm not a fan of quiet, but whatever. I don't care. I appreciate that it's a loaner bike. But see, if I had, I don't know, 14s or 15s, that'll be perfect. Right? It'll just pull me back a bit more. Where I can just put my back posture in a better position than what it is. Because at the moment, my back's kind of just hunched over, you know what I mean? Naturally. And, yeah. For people that have back injuries, definitely something you should consider is getting bigger bars the suspension feels great on this thing I think it's got enough play in it uh, and it's not even set to me uh, but I think this might be a preset stock setting come on Ambo 
I'm waiting for you, brother. There you go. See him. Okay, let's go. Hey. I didn't even see if I went back. Must be another accident. Typical Auckland man, there's always accidents around here. Every day, bro. Every day. Honestly, every day there's an accident on this highway. It's crazy, man. I feel like a lot more people need to pay more, more attention, eh? Actually do some training. Self-defensive training is... It's a no-brainer, really. If you want to um, become a better driver, you do the training, but uh, I see a lot of mistakes where drivers will pull in without looking or indicating. And as a rider, you've got to be aware of that all the time, you know what I'm saying? Especially when you're lane splitting. Like, especially when you're lane splitting. Any moment someone can pull out when you're lane splitting, so you've always got to be scanning. Scanning and being aware of the surroundings at all times is really important. So make sure you check that, brother. <laughs> oh, fun! Looks like a bit of traffic. I'm gonna try and hit some lane splitting before I drop this beast off. If anyone can hear me, might have to do it stealthily. Uh, feels a bit wide to split these gaps, but I'm gonna do it around this bed to see how bad the traffic looks. Looks medium, medium traffic, medium to heavy. Let's go. Get out of the way, bro. Thought that was a five hour. <coughs> See. I believe because this exhaust is so quiet people don't really know notice me that I'm behind them but if you've seen in some of my other videos any bike I ride with an exhaust bang people open it's like heaven's gates just saying open up welcome board hello uh, set cruise control look at that we're on 110 just coasting I love it, man. I love it. It's a nice Mustang, brother. Like me a coupe. So yeah, bro, this thing definitely feels like a Harley off the sides of this tank. I think this tank's the bigger capacity too, so. This thing's pretty dope. I'd imagine this would hold more gas than mine, just looking at it. Huge. Looks mean too. Ooh, gas is pretty low, brother. What do we get? How many? Oh, 24 Ks? <laughs> I will make it. We're what, less than 10 Ks? Couple. Like I said, this thing picks up good. I love, I actually love, um, I love this thing, man. <laughs> Break, breakouts are fun, bro. Um, but again, just a couple of tweaks and I'd be like all over it, but if I was to compare this to my V-Rod, if I was to pick one in preference, I'd, I'd pick my V-Rod all day. Um, and mainly just because I like my rods, to be honest. I, after my muscle, letting that go and moving on to the 114 street bob i realized that man 
I love rods. Brother, stay on your lane, bro. Pay attention, bro. See, this is what I'm saying. People need to pay attention, man. Coasting on the bloody medium line. Having a holiday, bro. Yeah, almost there, bro. I can't wait to see my girl. Let's go. At least he waved out. Bro was like, oh my god, there's a bike there, see? Couldn't hear me, bro. If I was roaring on my night road, you wouldn't have done that. So how would I rate this bike? Man. Out of 10, I'd probably rate this a solid 8 and a half. Uh, as a stock model, base model, I think, um, you know, if you, you had a lazy 40k and you're like, yep, I need a breakout, I love that thing, it's, it looks awesome. Yeah, all day, get you on, man, like, but I'd probably rate it a solid 10 with all the other stuff on top. You know, the bars, the exhaust, all that good stuff. I think a 117 is sufficient, though. I feel like, man, this would, I would have liked to have, um, pulled it next to a V-Rod or a Night Rod just to compare apples with apples, you know. This is the biggest, uh, the biggest block that they offer at the moment as a stock model option. Hey, let's go brothers. Got the head nod. Appreciate it. <laughs> Look at that, we made a brand, we've got like 20 k's left on the bloody tank. Here we are, Auckland Harley. Oh sheesh, look at that. That mustn't have been fun. Where's she at bro? I don't see her, man. She's probably still in the workshop. Let's go. Whoo! Damn, I missed that sound. In the bars. Let's get out of here. See you later, bro. boy oh it feels good again I tell you what it feels great it feels great with the bars Go baby! Damn, I love it! I <laughs> missed you girl! <laughs> Get in there boy! Now yo, I legit missed this bye! Whoosh! Feels good! She needs a wash! I might get give her a wash. <laughs> Let's go. The one thing I just learned about this bike, uh, Craig from Harley was just telling me that this thing's been fitted with the Thundermax tuner. And apparently the tuner alone uh, is about 3k um, if you were to buy one. Uh, but it has some really interesting features. One of the, the benefits of the Thundermax is it has a self-tuning um, option where 
basically you get mods done it, it, it just adjusts as you ride but the con to that is if say you have an exhaust leak um, it'll auto tune to the exhaust leak so providing you've got no issues with the bike Thunder Max is a really good tuner to have on a V-Rod apparently so it's really good to know that because I didn't even know though didn't even know brother look at that left lean dog shade actually because she is warm but yo that's about it for this test ride for the 2023 breakout uh, shout out to everyone that's following if you haven't already please hit that subscribe button goes a long way and it's free so I really appreciate everyone that's following the journey uh, if you want to support your boy make sure you subscribe drop us a comment tell me what you think about the breakout until the next video, stay tuned. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. Wait, you may as well wait till I get on the highway, bro. Get a little pool, you know what I mean? May as well wait, brother. I think the Subi wants to race, anyways. Race a bit.